welcome back friends so today in this video i want to tell you some passing strategy for this uh, c programming for problem solving so this is uh, one among the toughest subjects in the first sem first semester or either uh, second semester also so my dear friends uh, this is a matter of concern for most of the students uh, as far as uh, what we call every branch student is concerned so let me tell you in this video what are the important questions even though the uh, syllabus is uh, vast over there so let me try uh, to precise it into a short form over here so my dear friends in the module first just focus on this much part that is write the basic structure of c program and explain its different sections also gain give an example so this is one of the most important questions in the module first you have to focus on this part otherwise uh, most of the programs are there as you already know you are already aware of that 14 programs are in this subject but a student cannot focus on all the programs as this is the backlog if uh, a student gets backlog in the subject so it becomes very difficult for the backlog student to cover that 14 programs it is very typical for a student if i take my example also when i was uh, writing this uh, particular examination so i was fo uh, focusing the, i was facing the same problems my dear friends i cannot uh, cover all that programs over here so just focus on the theory part in the module first second one is the various types of computers and the history is there don't go there so uh, i just focus on this this much particular part over here that is a uh, different generations of computers define a token different types of tokens in the C language define algorithm write algorithm uh, write an algorithm to find the area of area and parameter of a rectangle so my dear friends this much theory content is enough uh, for the model first to score 10 to 20 marks in this particular model over here then the model second comes up so in this model second uh, there are some programs but uh, just focus on the or part or you can see in the second chapter there are differences between while and do while loop along with syntax and example so next compute a c program to compute roots of quadratic equations this is this is the most important this is the super important question as far as module second is concerned there are a lot of programs in this but uh, just focus on this much part it is always asked it is frequently asked question in the vtu examination that is c program to compute roots of quadratic equations okay then uh, write the syntax of else if later and explain its working and also if and if else and switch statements are there so you have to focus on that switch statements it is also an important part over here then what is branching and explain all the branching statements with syntax then c program for palindrome palindrome also this is an important question suppose i will uh, t uh, tell you the example over here uh, that is ma madam m a d a m it can be uh, what we call as red in the opposite form also that is m a d a m madam this is called as palindrome a lot of examples are there uh, suppose my area that is magam magam it can be reversed in the form that is magam magam okay so this is the palindrome over here uh, just focus on that program part explain break and continuous statements also focus on this much part this is also then uh, again an important question in this model second my dear friends then third model comes up so in this what is the array this is the first chapter of the third model what is array and how 1d and 2d what that is one dimensional and two dimensional arrays are declared and uh, initialized that is you have to focus on the declaration part and initialization part of the 1d one dimensional and two dimensional arrays were there then write a c program to search a key element in the uh, given sorted array of integer numbers using binary search technique this is an important program as far as model third uh, model third is concerned over here as i already told you in the beginning that there are 14 programs you have to just cover five at least five programs so that you can easily clear you can easily conquer this subject with ease over there then write a program to read n integers and to arrange them in ascending order using bubble sort technique it will be in the or part and uh, whichever is convenient for you people these two are always uh, uh, what we call as always the questions were there in the vtu paper you can just prefer your papers and see this question will be in every uh, probably this will be in every paper over there so focus on these two programs as far as the model 3 is concerned then differences between linear and binary search and string variables you have to go through this theory part also it is declaration and initialization so i think this is enough for the module third to cover over there even though there is a vast syllabus over there then module 4 c program to generate fibonacci series this is 
also again an important question in this uh, model 4 over here then define recursion write c program to find a factorial of a number using a recursion and types of functions based on parameters define function and write its advantage of user defined functions explain the categories of uh, user defined functions and also uh, C program to find factorial of a number using function. So this much part is enough for the model 4 my dear friends Just focus on this part uh, that is Fibonacci series. It is always asked in the video examination Okay, so then last model comes up that is uh, model fifth uh, So what is a pointer? It is an important question So theory concepts are there in the model fifth you just go through otherwise you cannot write the program in this particular module over here There are typical ones and they are typical to mem uh, memorize over there So you just focus on the uh, theory portion that is what is a pointer declaration and initialization advantage and disadvantage of pointers and also what is pre preprocessor directive over there explain any two preprocessor directives uh, in c language that is uh, hash define and hash include processor which you will include in the writing program so you just start your what we call program with the uh, hash define and hash include over there then define a structure explain the syntax of structure declaration in c program with example so types of structures with their syntax also so my dear friends this so much content is enough for this uh, particular subject that is c uh, c program for problem solving if you just cover this much portion it will be easy for you to pass this subject otherwise it becomes very difficult for students to pass this uh, what we call this subject after the degree also students are facing problems so my dear friends just to go through this portion you will definitely kill it you will definitely concur this subject this time hope so so all the best best of luck for your upcoming examination for this particular subject so thanks for watching my videos